earliest memories of Stony Point were discovering it while we were hopping freight trains. Uh, we looked up and we saw all, all these rocks and we thought, well, let's explore that. So we did. We didn't have any climbing gyms in those days. So we didn't have that as an alternative. And Stony was the place. It's where it was happening. So I would go to Stony and develop myself, develop my strength and, and abilities and in ways that I never knew that I could do. It's amazing when you look at the history of climbing and you see how many people actually learned all the foundations of climbing out here at Stony Point and then went onward to other places, really all over the world, to go climbing. At the time, there was no 510. There was no 511, and Bob was freeing these aid routes back in the you know late 60s with hiking boots on, no trick micro nuts and cams and bitchin' shit, you know, funky 50 meter ropes. He was freeing all this stuff back in the day. He was the Huber in the Caldwell and the Eugene, all these guys that are freeing the Potter. He's, he was that of his day. I mean, just Bob Camps, just watching him climb when he was in his 50s and his 60s. And stunning. When I started climbing, uh, Backer was already here. He was in high school. He was already better than everyone else. Um, he was slow, precise, perfect, um, and, and, and really, really good. Hey, Michael Radom was a, was, a, was a local climber, and uh, he was a, a very exuberant character. I, I got to see him solo something that actually I think the, the prow is actually quite a gnarly solo because the prow is quite a slippery climb in one spot and you know he came up the edge and came around the corner and maybe came back again and took another look at it and came back and he worked his way through it very carefully never looking you know horrified or anything like that just very carefully worked his way up and it was very impressive to watch. It is an excellent place to learn all the techniques required to, to motivate on stone. Well, what makes Stony Point special to me is, is the feeling and the camaraderie I get with the fellow climbers who are, you know, into the same addiction that I am. And I think the fact that Stony Point, I mean, this is it. This is the place we come to. So it's sort of the, like the center of the rock or the building or whatever that I share something with friends. That's what makes Stony Point so great. You got community, you got history, and you got hard climbing.